Hello all, welcome back to Ad Network series. In previous videos, I have explained types of ad inventory, difference between premium and remnant inventory, reasons behind remnant inventory and what does publisher make of it. Now it's time for us to understand how players can make business with that remnant inventory. In this video, I will explain what is the way for publisher to earn revenue from remnant unsold inventory, what is an ad network, Role of ad networks in ecosystem, how ad networks makes money, and conclusion. What is the way for publisher to earn revenue from unsold or remnant inventory? To answer this, I would like to go through a real time example that gives a clear picture of this concept. Let's assume you have one acre of land that has been partitioned into four halves. The first part of your land contains your own house which is not a revenue source or not a source of income and you cannot make money from that land space. In space 2, you rent a building to someone and earn money from it. The third and fourth spaces remain unsold. If these unsold spaces are not sold to anyone, you may lose rent or any revenue that can get from these spaces. When you want to sell this unsold one and a situation where no one is ready to purchase from your known contacts, you will approach some mediator and engage his assistants in selling them. They work on commission to find buyers who show interest in purchasing that space. Among those buyers, you will decide to which buyer you want to sell the unsold spaces. This is a way with a mediator to sell land space in real time. Similarly, for publisher ad inventory, let's say out of 3 ad spaces, only 1 ad space is sold. Remaining two ad spaces are unsold. If publisher don't find an alternative way to sell remnant inventory, then publisher earn nothing and it is loss for them. They miss the chance of making revenue out of it. Similar to our example of land space we described, for publisher, now it's time to find a way or revenue source and need some player who can help to sell those remnant inventories. And to make this happen, a new player and a mediator came into picture and that player is ad network. Ad networks are similar to mediator between the land space owner and a buyer. And think of ad networks as the land agents of digital advertising ecosystem. Ad network is one way through which a publisher earns revenue from their remnant inventory. There exist other ways also, I will explain them in future videos. Since our discussion is on ad networks, let's focus on this. What is an ad network? An ad network is a company that purchases inventory from a specific group of publishers and aggregates and marks up and sell it to advertisers who are looking for it. Evolution of Online Ad Networks During initial days of ecosystem, the first display ad is served in 1994. In the year 1996, ad servers were launched. During 1998 and 2000, ad networks came into picture. Terms to remember before we proceed to next slides. On the seller side of ecosystem, players sell ad inventory. Publishers stand on the seller side. Sellers is the term to define who sells ad inventory. All of which can be called as ad inventory sellers or inventory providers. On the buyer side of ecosystem, advertisers purchases ad inventory and they stand on buyer side. Buyer is the term to define who purchases ad inventory all of which can be called as ad inventory buyers or consumers of ad inventory. Ad networks create a marketplace where it connects multiple publishers who are providers of ad inventory and advertisers who are consumers of ad inventory. Ad networks aggregate ad inventory from publishers or ad inventory sellers and sell it to advertisers or ad inventory buyers based on campaign targeting and requirement. From buyers end, Advertisements are sent to sellers. Finally, ad networks acts as a media vendors who help in selling and reselling of ad inventory. Ad networks sit at the center, publisher on seller side, brands on the demand side of ecosystem. Let's assume I am a publisher with a defined inventory. The total inventory on sale for this month is 100 million ad impressions. This inventory is across all web pages belonging to different page categories like home, entertainment, sports, politics, technology, movies, etc. 
on the website out of 100 million impressions let's assume 90 million impressions are sold and they are premium now remaining 10 million impressions are unsold across different page categories as shown here now these remnant impressions are with me and are ready to sell via ad networks and ad networks purchases this remnant inventory in our example let's consider you are the ad network similar to remnant inventory from my website you may also purchase remnant from other publishers let's assume from publisher 2 you purchased 8 million impressions and from publisher 3 12 million impressions and so on so finally in the ecosystem when publishers are ready with remnant inventory publisher supplies this inventory to ad networks here publisher is a seller and ad network is a buyer once ad networks purchase inventory from multiple publishers in a lot of small packages with respect to categories like sports business etc then they aggregate all of these inventory as per the various segments for example inventory from the home page of all sites is segmented as home page inventory the inventory from sports page of all sites is segmented as sports inventory likewise other categories can be aggregated as shown in this slide ad networks purchase those inventory at a low price from publishers and aggregate and sell them to advertisers who are looking for it now these ad networks act as sellers and sell that purchased inventory to advertisers at a high price in return advertisers send creatives price for the inventory to ad networks now ad networks take some commission from the amount and send them to publishers let's understand how ad networks makes money for example an ad network purchased ad inventory from one publisher at a cpm of $1 let's assume here he had some commission value of $0.2 then on behalf of publishers ad network sell it to advertisers at a cpm of 1.2 This is just an example to explain how they make business and earn revenue and profits. From advertiser's point of view, ad networks charge advertiser the high rates, take some commission from it, ad networks buy ad inventory from publishers at some low rate and serve the advertisements as required. Year on year, a large number of ad networks grown and there are lots of ad networks available in the display advertising ecosystem. Let's take one example of ad networks. for both publisher and advertiser an example of an ad network on the publisher side is google adsense and is a large ad network in the ecosystem when publisher have adsense account this ad network provides access to demand from advertisers of google display network and helps to monetize websites blogs etc you can get access to large pool of advertisers without having to maintain individual relationships now as a publisher one can use adsense to fill their remnant inventory and make at least some money instead of getting them unfilled where you earn nothing adsense program is for publishers to monetize their ad inventory with google ads on other hand google ads program is for advertisers google ads is an ad network on advertiser side who want to run ads for their products or services on google network of publisher websites I hope you got an idea of publisher side and advertiser side ad network. Let's combine both in one slide. This slide shows how AdSense, Google Ads connected to Google Display Network. In case of Google Ad Network, AdSense which is on sell side of ecosystem makes its inventory available in Google Display Network or GDN. On other end of ecosystem, advertiser or brands can run their ads on Google Display Network's inventory via Google Ads. publisher and advertiser connects to a google display network and get their requirements from the ecosystem other ad networks in the ecosystem which works for publisher and brands conclusion with this remnant or ad network model publisher can fill remnant inventory and earn some revenue instead of showing non revenue generating ads or keeping them blank publisher can also increase the scale and exposure of remnant inventory to advertisers buyers also for advertisers who are looking for similar media ad networks help them to reach their audience goals advertisers have exposure to a wide range of inventory with ad networks 
and can reach a wider target audience having connected with multiple sellers via networks ad networks allow advertisers to spend the remaining part of their planned budget finally to conclude this ad network or remnant model tries to sell almost all the inventory at any best price it gets instead of leaving blank i will explain more about this in future videos thank you for watching in the next video i will explain ad networks from player's point of view if you have any queries and would like to share any valuable feedback please reach out to learnersearchglobal@gmail.com or write under comment section